Welcome to IBC 2025. This year we bring together our global media, technology and entertainment clients showcasing their groundbreaking innovations right here in Amsterdam. I'm delighted to join Martin at Telos Alliance. Thanks for your time today. How's the show going so far for you? We're uh, what we're an hour and a half in, something like that. It's very early on day one, so uh, I think we're waiting for people to stream through. Yeah. Uh, but so far, it's been great. Yeah. It's quite busy, surprisingly it is so. Busy, yeah. yeah, just for the start of the day. But I want to ask you generally. Shows like this are so important in the industry, aren't they? Yeah, they are. We get to showcase all the latest and greatest technology, and we're in a market now that's evolving very quickly uh, with technology like AI, uh, with, with, with the uh, onset of cloud as well, with cloud, life, cloud production coming in. Uh, as a company, Telos is right at the forefront of some of that stuff, so uh, yeah. we've got a lot of new stuff to show people. So tell us a little bit about Telos initially. Telos Alliance is an American company. We're from Cleveland, Ohio. We're formed in 1985 by a guy called Steve Church, um, who uh, worked in the radio industry and wanted, uh, wanted radio broadcasts to sound better. So he, he set about on this path to make production audio sound better through uh, telephone phone-ins and stuff like that, then developed mixing consoles, developed audio over IP. The company's always been an innovator and that continues to this day. So Steve, no longer with us uh, uh, sadly, um, but the, the uh, people that have carried on the company have taken on that mantle and we are, uh, we are a business at the forefront of some of the latest and greatest audio technologies. And where are you positioned in the market, Martin? Um, so we are primarily a, a radio company. That's where the, com the, the business has, has been founded uh, and, and arguably that's where the bulk of our, our work comes from. I'm on the TV side and there's a whole group of us here that work in the TV side of the, uh, of the business. And uh, we are building that side of, uh, of the organization up. Listening to customers and constantly tweaking and evolving, that's what it's about. Yep. You mentioned AI, what other big trends are you seeing, are you focused on? We're focused on virtualization. Uh, so we've taken a lot of the products that have been traditional hardware um, that uh, people may know, know Telos for, like the mixing consoles, like the Infinity intercom system, the processing engines and that kind of thing, and we virtualized them. So in, in part, that was led by the pandemic. Like many companies, we, we couldn't build gear because we couldn't get the chips. Yeah. So we pivoted our development teams towards software and that's where the market went as well. So they led us in that direction. So software versions of hardware products for use in new workflows. And you have to adapt. The way we're consuming content is constantly changing, isn't it? Tell us a bit about what you're showcasing today, what's different about it, what's fresh? Well, I'm the VP of Business Development who looks after the intercom side of the, 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 the company, so I look after the intercom product line. Um, we are showing the latest and greatest in our VIP virtual intercom platform, which is cloud deployable, on-prem deployable in software form. So we can put an intercom panel in front of anybody anywhere in the world in just a few seconds. So it's mind blowing, isn't it? It is, yeah, and, it, and it's very timely as well. What we're showcasing are improvements that have evolved over the last 12 months since the last IBC show from listening to our customers. We've, we've seen uh, in, the, in, in the last year or so, customers who purchased the product scaling up bigger and bigger systems equivalents of massive matrix systems that would have would have existed in the past now uh, now running on AWS in the cloud and uh, we've learned about security we've learned about scaling in, in virtual platforms we've learned to make everything bigger more secure uh, and, and better so we're a company that that listens and what we're showing here is that the culmination of a lot of a lot of listening to customers in developing the product Bigger, better, faster. And as you say, innovation isn't always about brand new products, it's about tweaking existing products, listening to customers and providing solutions. Tell me about the future then. What do you see in terms of uh, the future? I think more of the same. Um, we've, got some, we've got some really good ideas that uh, probably if this was NAB next year, we'd be having a slightly different conversation about stuff that's coming that I can't really talk about. Um, we, we've got some really clever ideas, as Telos always does. So we're, we're, in, we're improving on all fronts. 
And again, as I, as I alluded to before, our customers, the, uh, their, their systems are getting bigger, they're getting more comp complex and we're reacting to that. So, so what, what's coming in the future is, uh, is going to be pretty mind blowing. Well, I look forward to talking to you again in the future. You've left me in suspense now, Martin. <laughs> Good luck with the rest of the show and thanks so much for your time today. No, thank you. Um, yeah, everybody have a great show.